Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Part 6, Sonic Generations, City Escape. Let's do it. It's real. I just realized all the, uh, all the little, like, the stage logos or stage names are in different colors, so that makes sense why they change colors. <laughs> so this one, I, I don't even know what to say. This is, I'm amped right now. It's the same day as episode 5, but I'm just amped for this level. So amped. And this loading screen is killing me. Alright, let's go. It's real. Yes! 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 Oh my god, the background! Oh my god, the slowdown! It's so real! <laughs> I love this so much. It's not even real. Okay, I'm terrible at this level, if you can tell. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Come on. Let's go faster. Why is this not working as well as I hoped? Hopefully I can get most of the red rings. There's actually one red ring I will point out right now. If I get it on camera, you have to give me a pat on the back. You have to because it's never happened like this. It's never happened like this. It's so real. If I get this red ring, if I get this red ring, oh my god, that red ring right there, I hate that red ring. You have to be so pitch perfect to get that. Um, you really do. So, kind of a bummer. And go, and go. But hopefully I can get the rest of them. I don't even know. I don't even know. If I did get that on camera though, that would be that would be something. I don't think I've ever gotten that red ring on my first try. But not to worry, we are gonna speed through this level. Sadly, we won't hear this, this music for that long because there is more or less a second half to this level. The truck does return and the music changes along with it. Uh, so kind of a bummer. You can probably attack onto rails in this game, unlike you could do in a Sonic Adventure 2, so that's nice. And I don't think we've gotten any red rings, yet, and that was a failure to end all failures. Kind of cool, you see Chaos's eye back there. That's really neat. Chaos in space. I like the little posters like that. Really adds to the scenery. Um, also, look, if you, you can tell on the little awning right there, it says Amy's Market. So I, I really love that stuff. I mean, this is what I hoped like every Sonic game would be like. And it's sad because this is an anniversary title. So they're not, you know, Sonic. I sad, sad to say, Sonic Team won't put the same amount of effort, I don't think, into the rest of their games like they did this game. Because they knew that this was, you know, 20, Sonic's 20th birthday. We have to, you know, go all out. Go big or go home. And I wish game companies would just not worry about having a release every year, every two years, or whatever. And just put a lot of effort into their games because this is this is a fantastic game. What is that honey song? I have no idea what that, that's for. I don't think it's for a specific area. Look at the hot dog and the, the dog and the bun. It's so adorable. I love adorable things, if you can tell. Yes, I am a grown man, and I love adorable things. There's no shame in that. <laughs> and Truck. And Truck is now on acid because Truck has... Truck has, well, Truck has chainsaws. Or are those chain... I don't know if those are chainsaws specifically. Buzz saws? Is that, is that the more correct vernacular? I'm not really sure. I'm not well-versed in hardware. Um, unless it's technological hardware. But actual hardware? I don't have it. I've been into a hardware store like once. I mean, that counts for something. I'm not much of a fixer upper kind of guy. And stay on this path right here and get that red ring. Get that red ring and miss that red ring. Make sure you miss that red ring, kids. Make sure you miss it like I did. But if it wasn't enough that we had buzz saws and acid truck here, we have wall running in all of its modern Sonic glory. I don't even know how this works, but it does, and Truck just ruined everybody who lives in that apartment building's house, or apartment building's lives, um, because he, he destroyed their, destroyed their homes, way to go Truck. Thankfully we got an S rank, Sonic has a little break dance, and now we are on to the last zone for the Dreamcast era, not, not too bad right now, we are speeding through this game, I figured this was going to be a shorter one than, uh, Sonic, Sonic, or not Sonic, Super Mario 3D World, which I haven't actually tried to record again. As of right now, the Wii U is still AWOL, um, or going haywire, whatever you want to say. I figure I'll try to record some of that tomorrow morning or something. I don't even know. But hopefully I don't have to put that on a hiatus or anything, because I want to, uh, I want to finish that game. Thanks, big Alrighty. That's the first time I've ever been... Her, her. 
<laughs> He's like, bro. Hmm. Okie dokie. And we have restored the background. Do we already do that? I guess we did that already. I, I completely missed that. Okay, so now we don't have anything to do up here. Last level. What I'm going to start with... Um, uh, do I want to do... Uh, we'll, do cla we'll do modern. Yeah, let's just do modern. No, I don't care about wall jumps. We already did wall jumps. Wall jumps were in the very first level, bro. Come on now. Come on now. This is quite a fun level. I Like I said in probably every LP to date, I love Sonic Heroes, so... Bringing back Ocean Palace was was a good choice. I would have preferred, um, what was that Metro City place, the second level, Grand Metropolis. Um, I would have preferred Grand Metropolis. I would have preferred, Hang Castle would have been kind of neat, because you don't really have too many like haunted levels in Sonic games. You know, it's more or less a Mario thing to do. But uh, Hang Castle would have been nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else would I have preferred. Not Rail Canyon, because Rail Canyon can eat dirt. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Frog Force would have been nice, though. I think the thing that this game does that kind of hurts it, the only thing I can really say hurts this level, this game, is uh, they choose a lot of old levels. Or they, not old levels, yes, old levels. They are all old levels. They choose a lot of first levels, which kind of ticks me off because there are a lot of, you know, third and fourth and sixth levels in Sonic games that I think would have done well um, to be placed in this game. Because look, you have Green Hill Zone, you have. Uh, you have Green Hill, you have um, City Escape, which is the first level of Sonic Adventure 2. You have this level. And then, what else do you have? Is there another one? Um, i trying to think of the later levels. I don't know, but th at least three of the nine levels are all first zones. And then, you know, Chemical Plant is the second zone, which I don't know if that's much better. But I would have liked to see a more diverse choosing. Because, as you know, with Sonic games, a lot of times, the first level is based off of, you know, a Green Hill trope. You know, even City Escape, to some extent, is a very green, you know, city. So, it would have been nice to see, like, a different first level. Or a different, you know, level choice. To get some more variety. Because there are lots of green levels this level. In this game. I really can't even remember what comes after. What comes after Sonic Heroes? Oh, Sonic. Oh, yeah, there's lots of green levels. But there are also a lot of city levels, too. Which we'll, we'll see with the, uh, the next set of stages, but all in all, I can't complain that much, and we have a nice little Sonic, Sonic, all, Sonic and Sega All-Stars racing cameo, I guess you could say, but I guess the go-kart was also in Sonic, uh, something, Sonic Heroes as well, so, but this definitely just reminds me of Sonic and Sega All-Stars racing, I've never actually played those games, which... I have, I've seen a couple of videos from them, and they look like fun. Um, oh, we got that red ring. Fantastic. Suddenly, if you notice, this level, it goes from Seaside Hill into, like, an Ocean Palace theme, which is really kind of cool. I like the fact they combined both levels, as opposed to just choosing, you know, one or the other. You have, you know, the opportunity to play through, essentially, what would be both levels. And hopefully, we can get this red ring here. Hopefully, we can, nope. Okay, yeah, you want to get up there. I can, I, it's always such a, and we're on the bottom half, just like that. It's always so difficult for me to get up there because, like, the way those uh, pillars are retracting into the wall, they are going at a different rate. So I always get caught on like the little lip, and then I can't get the can't get up to the upper path. But oh well, not to worry. So one thing that's kind of sad about this game compared to Colors, Colors you have multiple save files. So every time I want to start a new game on this, you know, there's only one save file. Which I mean, in this day and age, that's kind of unacceptable. To have one save file for you know a modern game release um and you know it's just kind of a bummer because uh you know i could get all the red rings and let's say I, like i wanted to get all the red rings show off what you get or the different soundtrack options or whatever um but you can't do that because i have to, every time i want to start a new game you have to have a new save file um so whereas with like sonic colors i can get all the red rings get super sonic get all the goodies and then like boot up that save file and show you guys that way this one, you have to, you know, start a new game so you don't have that luxury. Same thing with Sonic Lost World. That's, like, the one thing I'm dreading because I got, I just got, like, all the Red Rings at the end of the summer. Because some of those things just piss me off so much. Um, but I just got all the Red Rings at the end of the summer, unlocked Super Sonic, and I really wanted to, you know, let's thought about Let's Play that game at some point. 
Um, but I'm like, I don't really want to because then I'll have to go through all those red rings again. So, you know, it's things like that that kind of tick me off. I don't know why they would have only one save file, but whatever. We'll do Act 1 of Seaside Hill. Thought it would be kind of cool if they named this Act 2 version Ocean Palace. That would be kind of, that'd be kind of neat. It's actually a pretty gnarly glitch in this level where you can spin dash ahead. I don't know how to do it, but you can spin dash like really far ahead of the level before it loads and the level layout will be invisible. It'll still be there, but it has the actual, um, like the models for stuff haven't actually loaded, but the, like the physical object is still there. So we have egg pawns back from Sonic. Oh crap. I was supposed to spin dash up. It wasn't I. Let's see if we can get over there. I think there's a ring, ring over there and jump. Okay. Or not. And go. This is your token water level for this for this game. Um, you know, Chemical Plant had some water, but this is really your go-to water level. And I can't complain about it. I think actually at this point we should unlock the bubble shield. Um, can't get up there. Okay, let's go down here instead. I like the base of this level too. Um, it's really comforting. I, I don't know if that's the right word I want to use, but I like the the base and don't get squished. Interestingly, uh, you can't get crushed in this game. Or classic Sonic, yeah, I don't think you can get crushed. Um, at least not right there. I know for a fact um, you'll you'll get smushed and you'll lose all your rings, but you won't actually get crushed by those uh, those pillars. So it's kind of interesting. And let's see, let's get up here. Come on now, come on now. Come on now. Oh wow, you could actually stand up there. All right, I'm gonna try to hop off the chomper like that and get onto the upper path because I think there's a red ring. I like how the uh, the background kind of like goes out of focus when you hop in the camera like that. It's really neat. And we have classic invincibility. I think this is the first time we've had invincibility um, in this game. We have classic invincibility sound, which is very nice. I love this little dynamic camera angle there. It's kind of weird. And jump, and jump. And this is the part of the level I was talking about where if you spin dash like far enough ahead of it, you can actually, uh, you know, the level layout will be invisible. So it'll be a nice little challenge, I guess you could say. Um, let's see, get up in there. Get up in there. Good pal, the Orca is back. This time not chewing on Sonic or chasing after Sonic, but helping him out, so. Always a nice cameo if you have a friendly whale. And the turtles are back. You notice underneath um, underneath the platforms, the turtles were actually holding up those platforms. Whoa, I just heard something crack. Holy crap, what was that? Like, this is so unprofessional or whatever, but I just heard something crack. I have no idea what that was. Um, do I want to go up? I think I want to go up. Oh, wait, no, I missed the ring. Okay. And yeah, spike glitches in this game, if you noticed. Um... Sonic will hit the spikes. If you hit them once, and you hit, you don't get invincibility frames, and you'll die instantly. So watch out for that. Actually, I think I missed the red ring. It's on the upper path, so not good. But this is Hydrocity Zone. Yes, Hydrocity Zone, not Hydro City. Hydrocity Zone. Um, those are back from Hydrocity Zone, so that's nice. And if an orca isn't chasing Sonic, then a giant boulder will be. But luckily, it slows down. It's a cur it's a courtesy boulder. It will slow down just to make sure it doesn't hit you. I mean, it can hit you, but you have to go go incredibly slow for that thing to hit you. And you want to hop up here, and you want to jump, and you want to jump, and you want to jump, and you want to get that red ring, and you want to end the episode off in style. I like that whale island in the background. It's really nice. The clouds are moving. That's kind of cool. And a rainbow, and a happy set of orcas. And of course we get the A rank because because I died in true BPG fashion. Alrighty. And we have restored the other half of Seaside Hill. And interestingly they put Espio in this act so that's kind of Neat. I love the little beach right there. Like, it's just outside the level. Oh, wow, real cutscene. I thought this was going to be rescuing Espia. That's kind of cool. So I, think we've pieced together more of what's I like the texture on his gloves. 
Whoa. More time eater. I love how he like goes completely behind the level. Like he doesn't run into the level, like tear it up or anything. I could listen to Little Tales for days, like... Yeah, that makes no sense, but I'll take your word for it, Tails. Then I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. Her, her. <laughs> I never noticed those, those, like, sharp belt buckle thingies. What are those things called? Those collars, or... I don't know what they're called. Uh, shoes and Thank wrists. You. Beware, for I have looked into the soul of our enemy, and I saw only darkness. Okay, then. Hmm. All right, and with that, yeah, your ninja skills, you're not even a ninja, SBO. You're like, well, I mean, you're more of a ninja than, than Naruto, so anyway. All righty, and that is going to be the end of the episode. In the next episode, we are going to head off and do some, some challenges. We have some pretty good challenges in this level, so or in these levels, so we will do those challenges, and maybe, just maybe, we'll take on the boss, but that might be in episode 8. I don't really know. I don't plan these things ahead of time. I just do stuff. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.